by 2050, there will be more than 1 million New Zealanders over the age of 65. Evidence indicates that half of older people don't meet their dietary protein requirements. Now, this can lead to multiple disorders, one of which is sarcopenia, which internationally renowned researcher and medical practitioner in this area, Professor Andrea Meyer, is here to tell us about all today. Please welcome to the cafe, Professor Meyer. Yes, Hi, welcome. Thank you very much. welcome. So good to have you here. Thank this, you. This is really interesting because it's not a term that I've come across, but probably will in the future. Uh, sarcopenia, what is it and who's at risk? Yeah, it's not well known. Actually, it's a disease and it's age-related low muscle mass and muscle strength. And actually, it's quite an important disease because 30, uh, 30, 35% of um, inhabitants of New Zealand, being 65 and older, suffer from this disease. And actually, if you have sarcopenia, then you are at risk of falls, of frailty, diseases, and even deaths. Crikey. Right, which, yeah. is, which is something, you know, especially our elderly population don't need to be dealing with. So can it be treated or prevented? Yeah, quite easily. So two ingredients. The first of all, it's exercise. So if you don't use your muscle, you will lose it. Right. And so by using strength training, you can um, build up your muscle. And secondly, you have to eat protein. So it's everything about diet, because proteins are very important to build up muscle. Mm, it's interesting, isn't it? So we have to make our life a little bit more difficult, don't we, as we get older, to get that exercise in, in, in daily life. Mm. So it's very detrimental to city, actually. So mm. because we are losing muscle mass at this moment. Yeah. So we should all be standing. <laughs> <laughs> so we do, do some exercise. We do a lot of sitting, actually, on the sofa. <laughs> because, Professor, you hear a lot about protein. If you're a young man going to the gym, get your protein. Yeah, do you do that? Yeah, well, I try. <laughs> <laughs> I probably need to get to do better. I probably just need to get to the gym. Um, but why is protein important for, for elder people? People. So it's quite important because it's a key element to um, to build up muscle mass and right. to main, maintain muscle mass. And if we don't have the muscle mass, then we are not um, um, very strengthy to to mm. walk, and then we fall, etc. And then all the detrimental. Um, things coming up like diseases etc so we really need muscle mass and muscle strength and there was protein so we could be doing the exercise but if we're not doing that strength training that's where the trouble comes into isn't it yeah so actually you need physical activity in daily life so please walk yeah. more and stand up more don't take and the lift Mike <laughs> <laughs> sort of right and also we need the resistance training because mm. we really need the training to build up the muscle mass it should hurt mm. to build up the muscle this is such valuable information and I can see in front of us we have some food items. So this is about getting protein into you. Yeah, actually we need round about 80 gram per day okay. of protein and that's quite hard to get there. So I like eggs in the morning. Mm -hmm. So one egg is six gram of protein. So which means if I divide my protein intake of 80 into the morning, to the lunch, and to the dinner, I need 25 grams round about in the morning for breakfast. Right. So I should eat Two eggs yes. and three toasts with cheese. Okay, cool. Okay, that's well, quite that's hard. Quite a lot. Yeah. I mean, yeah. how would you get a like a, an older person? That's a, a lot of protein into their daily diet. Yeah, actually, it's it's quite hard. But you need to know where the protein is. For example, there's yogurt, nine gram. So you already have nine out of um, seventy-five. That's, good. that's okay. quite good. But actually, it's, sometimes it's too hard for elderly people, mm. especially if they are sarcopenic. And then we described some uh, supplements, uh, oral supplements, like, um, for example, this one, um, 40 sip. Um, because you need the protein to build up the muscle. And if we do the resistance training, then we supplement with um, products like these. Okay, I hope my mother is watching this. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> and really, eat some eggs this morning, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and be physically active. No, and this is great, because there's probably a lot of people that are watching that haven't come across this before, so yeah. fantastic to have you here. What advice would you give them, uh, especially the, the elderly audience that's watching right now? What advice would you give them? Yeah, I repeat myself, it's really physically being active eat your proteins, and if you can't really reach 75 gram of protein, um, talk to your GP, general practitioner, to really see what kind of advice the general practitioner has. Because sarcopenia is really, really important to, to diagnose, and we can do something about it. We have treatments. Yeah, so it's not the be all and end all. You can actually, you can actually help prevent it. Yeah, you can prevent it, so we can prevent it at the moment. So right. we should be physically active. And if you're a sarcopenic, so if 
you have the disease, we can treat it quite easily. Okay. So we need the knowledge out Go in the and population. Go talk to your doctor. Yes. And you're actually visiting New Zealand to talk with GPs about yeah. this. Yes, yeah. So I have a Sarcopenia Roadshow, uh, <laughs> which is quite nice. So every evening this week I give talks to really get the message out. Great. Nice work. And, and enjoy your life, of course. Yeah, well, no, that is important, <laughs> Professor. You're right. So the key messages are exercise, get your protein, and supplements. Could you recommend a supplement? Uh, 40 sip, for example. Yeah. Okay, cool. And it's available in New Zealand. Brilliant. Yeah. It's convenient. Hey, well, thank you. It's been yes, an absolute so pleasure having you here. Pleasure having you here. And thank really you. enlightening, actually. Yeah. I'm thinking about my protein intake, actually. Uh, thank you very much for joining thank us. You. And if you are concerned about anything that we have just discussed this morning for yourself or for a loved one, please do make sure that you head along to consult your GP.